Good evening and welcome to RC Crazy. In today's episode, we're going to do a review. So stay tuned for this episode of RC Crazy. All right, so this is what we got here. This is the Sharper Image Thunderbolt Jet X2. Some kind of a styrofoam looking airplane thing here. Part drone, part airplane. So I'm sure it'll probably fly like a drone. It's the automatic cover, gyro stabilization, assisted landing. Um, it says 360 degree stunts. Let's check out the backside. It says, uh, let's see here, where is it? Advanced stunts. Light up body, wireless control, lightweight design, 360 barrel rolls. So let's uh, see what's in the box. All right, so here is what you get. You get one drone plane. You get one controller. Here's your bag of goodies. It comes with, looks like, extra props, the charger, and then this little doodad piece of paper here. And then, of course, the silica, keep everything dry. Okay, so here's a close-up. This is made out of styrofoam. This is what it looks like. Check out underneath. This is what it looks like underneath. Not sure what size battery is in there. It's got those wheels and pegs to hold it up on both wings there. So I'm assuming this is going to probably fly like a drone or similar to it. Let's check out the controller. <laughs> All right, so here's something funny. It says, before flying, read instruction manual. It did not come with an instruction manual. So I don't know what's up with that. So let's take a look at this controller here. So here's your, uh, your trim for your directional. Here's your trim for your steering. Let's see, here's your speed button, audio, or auto <laughs> orientation. I'm not sure what that does. I'll have to check that out. And I'm not sure what that does either. Because they don't have the instruction manual. Here's the flight button. There must be something to do with auto takeoff or something. Hey, there's your speed button. And then here is the stunt button. It takes four double A's, which they usually do. And uh, let's charge it up and take it outside. Alright guys, just a quick note that uh, when you're charging this, the light will be red and then when it's done charging, the light in the back of the plane will be off. There's a slight breeze. Okay guys, so this may be a short run, this is going to be a first look. This is how you turn it on. You turn this all the way over like that. That would have been nice to know if I would have gotten the instructions. I just figured it out. Um, this might only just be a, a trial run here because the wind is starting to pick up. And I'm not sure how things are going to react in this wind. So we may just uh, do a short flight now and then try to finish it on another day. We'll see what happens. See if I can... Figure this out. There we go. So this is kind of scary. That's not even moving forward. Ah! Alrighty then. <laughs> That's not even moving forward at all.
pretty crazy. It just drifts. There's no no forward pitch power at all. I mean, there's a little bit of wind here, but that shouldn't matter. It should be going forward. Uh, let's see. Should be going forward somewhat, anyways. Yeah, it's not even going forward, it's just going backwards. There we go. I was doing something. What, what that something is, I don't know. Yeah, there's no, there's no controlling it at all. Alright guys, so we're getting rid of that thing. That thing was a piece of junk. Sorry, sharper image, but uh, there's there's no flying that thing. I'm not even going to show you guys the footage of it. It's complete junk. Uh, maybe somebody else had better luck with it, but it, you could not trim it out at all. It wouldn't fly forward. There's, there was just a slight tiny two mile an hour breeze and it wouldn't even handle it. So it just kept floating and spinning and, and no control on it whatsoever. So sharper, sharper image, shame on you. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to share it. Come check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links will be in the description below. If you need to get hold of us for any reason, we do have an email address, and that will be in the description below. And don't forget, guys, just keep droning.